Here's an escape room using Google Forms. Where is the AGT? Find the clues, answer the questions. Do you know? Type in the answer. Congratulations, you found the AGT in a savanna. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own escape Google form. Avant Garde teacher here. I hope you'll enjoy watching this video and find something you can use. I may not be a pro, but I always find creative ways to work with what I have. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of Avant Garde Teacher. Thanks for watching. This video is rated E for everyone. Okay, let's get started. So you'll first wanna bring up Google Forms and we're gonna start with a blank form. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is change our theme and make our banners. So I'm gonna be using the free banner template that I have linked in the description that has all your background colors. Uh, you can just select a color and then drag your bitmojis. But if you take the time to make stickers, it's so simple and it'll save you a lot of time. And there's a tutorial in the description for making stickers. Now to insert the stickers, you go to the image icon and you select drive and then you just drag your stickers over into your banner and you're done. You'll want to have banners for each one of the questions um, just to congratulate them, to keep moving them forward and encouraging them. Again, the stickers tutorial is linked in the description. Okay, once you get all your banners done and all your congratulatory banners done, you are ready to go and change your theme in your Google form. So we'll do that next. Okay, so I'm back on my forms, uh, my blank form, and I'm going to title the form, where is the AGT? And then I'm gonna type directions. Once I get the directions typed, I'm going to add the theme by going to the color palette and then choosing a theme. And this is where I'm going to upload my first banner. And then I'll be ready for the first question. Okay, make sure the question is a short answer question and it will, um, it should show response validation. And for my first question, I want them to answer with uh, typing in something. So it's going to be text. And then I'm gonna put the word contains and then I'll type in my answer. And then if they don't get it right, I usually put in a hint and then type try again. So here's my question. I'm making it short answer. I'm putting the response validation. Text contains, and I put what words need to be contained in their um, answer. And then if they don't do it right, I put in a hint. And usually I say try again.
and then make sure to make it required. Let me just go over this and make sure I have everything spelled correctly uh, because it won't let them, it will keep giving them an error message if you don't have exactly what it needs to contain. Okay, I'll put um, required on and we're ready to add a section. So you'll add a section which looks like to an equal symbol and then we'll type the clue number in here. So I put two cl number one, clue number one, and then I give the clue on this line. Then underneath, I'll put an encouraging message. Then I'll insert an image for congratulations and the image will be another sticker banner or another banner that I've already made. So these are my words of encouragement. I've given them the clue. Now the image, and I'm just gonna upload it and it'll be from one of my banners. And now I'll insert a question. Now the question this time is going to contain a number. So um, on top of my image, let me type something in real quick. Um, I'll put a little motivating message in there. Okay, so click on the question. That's that little plus sign at that toolbar that moves down the page with you. And this time the question is going to contain a number. And in the middle you want to put equal to, put the number, and then here is where you type in if they get it wrong. I always give them a hint and tell them try again. And then we'll start, uh, make, it, make sure it's required, and then we'll start the process again by clicking on to add a section. So then type your clue number and give the clue. Then underneath an encouraging message, then you'll insert an image, which is your banner. Okay, so after you have your clue number and you put your clue there, encouraging message, and we're just gonna repeat the same thing. Insert an image, put a little caption on your image, usually another encouraging thing. Add your question, make sure it's short answer. If it's numbered, it has to equal to the number. Um, what should they do if they get it wrong? I give them a hint, tell them to try again. And then we add a section. Now you can also put videos in here. So you can um, put a video in there for them to watch. When you get all done with it, you want to um, change your settings. And the only thing I do is I share a link for them to submit another response. And then I put a congratulations message here that they'll see. And here you can also put a link if you want to play a game or another activity to strengthen their skills. So that's where you would put it in the congratulations message. And when you're all done, you'll wanna try it out just to make sure there's no glitches. When you are all finished with that last section and the last section, all you're going to put in it is your congratulations message. And then it will have them submit because there's nothing else for them to do. Um, please go back and check and make sure that it works, that everything is working correctly. It is case sensitive in case you require text if you're an ELA teacher. So make sure that um, there are no words that are capitalized that you don't want capitalized. Okay, so now what do you do with it? Well, you have to go and get the link to share it out. Now you can share it in your virtual classroom, you can share it in your digital newsletter um, so that parents can try it if you wanna do that. To find the link, you click on send. Then you'll click the paperclip icon, which is the hyperlinking icon that gives you this long URL. Well, you can click shorten URL 
and then copy the link. And then there you go. That's the link that you can send out. And of course, it, you can also click and share it on Facebook or Twitter. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, you know what to do. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Then join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more of the Avant-Garde Teacher.